Hey YouTube world, welcome to Daisy Powerline 880 versus Crossman 760 Pump Master. I'm going to try and keep this uh, under 10 minutes for sure. I'll do my very best. Listen, first thing I want to say real quick, um, I'm not telling you how to live your life or what to do, but um, I just wanted to say that please don't buy either of these and to give them to your kids and send them out in the backyard. Please don't do that. These, but you know, either of these have a lot more power than most people give them uh, respect for and uh, to you know sort of drive that home I can tell you that kids have absolutely died from these pellet guns uh, accidental shootings but um, it has happened and statistics show that four Americans a year die from pellet guns and unfortunately most of them are kids so it really does happen uh, that's enough of that let's get on with the review uh, the Daisy Powerline 880, I've had this guy for, um, I'd say, 18 months. Done a couple of videos on it before. $35 at my local Walmart. The 760 Pump Master, I've had for about a week. $30 at Walmart. Uh, you know, both of them are a couple of pennies less than that. Uh, straight away, I want to tell you, this scope does not come with the Daisy. It does come with a scope. It's not much of a scope, but it is a scope. Uh, the Crossman 760 does not come with any scope. It's just open sights. Um, the Daisy Powerline 880 also has open sights. Uh, all right, trying to get into a couple of features here. Um, likes and dislikes. Look, both of these are um, cheap plastic uh, air rifles. Um, that said, as, as I previously mentioned, a lot more accurate and a lot more powerful than people give them credit for. They are not a toy. Uh, but anyway, the Daisy is a little heavier, and I think the plastic, for what it is, it is thicker and heavier and stronger. Uh, I find the Daisy is definitely more powerful than the Crossman. Might not be a lot in it, but it's more powerful. Um, I haven't got a chronograph to, you know, make it official, so you're going to have to take my word for it. Uh, so I find it more powerful, I find it more accurate, uh, and all around much nicer to shoot. The bolt action is much lighter to pull back, much easier and smoother. The Crossman 760, whether you see it as a positive or a negative, the bolt is really quite heavy to pull back. Now, if you are teaching a kid to shoot, that might be a good thing. If the kid's six, seven, eight years old, the grown-up is going to have to pull that back because, uh, you know, my six-year-old grandson, he's a pretty strong little dude. I don't think he could do it. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's tried and he can't. So that might be a good thing. The Crossman is also much harder to pump. I would say maybe not quite twice as hard. But uh, if this is as far as arm and shoulder strength to pump it, uh, if this is if we call this a 10, this is a 6 as far as ease of pumping. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10. So yeah, quite considerable difference there. Once again, pro or con, depending on how you want to look at it. If you don't want small young kids to be able to pump, go for the Crossman. All right, if you want the grown-up to do the pumping, which controls the power and the speed of the pellet, uh, yeah, you can view that any way you want. Now, probably because the pump arm on the Daisy is much longer, so therefore leverage comes into play. The Crossman is very easy to load. Now, admittedly, this guy doesn't have a scope, but if you want to call it a port, it is... Um, see, I can't even pull that back. Oh, there we go. I did with my thumb, but it's pretty hard. So anyway... Um, much easier to get a pellet in there. I have had a scope on this, even with a scope. You've just simply got more room to get a pellet in. The Daisy, once you get the scope on, I will admit some pellets are, are a little tricky. Any of your, um, just your standard domed pellets are the easiest to load. Some of the more fancy ones, especially with the plastic skirt and whatever, they can be an absolute dick to get the pellet in there and sitting down. Because the ones with the skirts are longer, so you've got to kind of go, to go in and down and get it to seed in. And yeah, uh, certainly not for, you know, fast shooting. 
but the Crossman Destroyers I don't have a lot of trouble um, but the Crossman Destroyers are only seven something grains the, the light ones are difficult as I said the ones that I find uh, most accurate and best is um, easiest to load certainly is the uh, getting up around 10 to 11 grain um, just with the regular domed head seem to uh, load a lot easy, easier. Um, the daisy is a little weird with its setup. Uh, you can't put the um, uh, the cross bolt safety on. You can't engage the safety. You can't put it in safe mode without pulling the bolt back. All right. So you've actually kind of got to cock the thing to get the safety on, which sounds a bit weird, especially because I like to keep uh, one pump in these when I'm storing them. Uh, in my opinion, it just keeps a very light amount of pressure on the seals to keep the seals in place and to keep the seals the original size. I think if you uh, were to let these sit around for a month or so without any pressure, it may, quote unquote, may uh, distort the seals perhaps. So just one pump for storage just keeps that little bit of pressure on them and uh, that works well for me. Um, as far as maintenance and oiling, they're pretty similar. Let me pause for a second and I'll get them open. Alright, now with the Crossman, there's your little, if I can hold this thing, do it all one-handed. There's the little rubber right in front of my fingernail. Okay, the seal on the piston. That's the piston and there's your rubber. So keep that well oiled. What I like about the Daisy is... Again, right in front of my fingernail is the rubber piston seal. Behind that, you've got this little piece of uh, cheap sponge as an oiler. You can keep oil on that, and I love that idea. Okay, um, you don't want to over oil these things, um, but you know you certainly to get you get some life and value out of them. Uh, keep them oiled up. So I love that little that little piece of sponge there. It's, um, Worked well. So anyway, um, look, either of these, I'm not going to bitch about either one. You know, $35 with the scope. Actually, look, let's leave the scope out of it, all right? Let's just pretend that there's no scope for either of these things. So they're in excellent value, you know, $35, $30, you know. Um, this, you could easily uh, wash away that $5 in the fact that the daisy comes with a scope, but it's not much of a scope, so, so we'll just leave that out. Um, even if neither of these came with the scope, I would uh, absolutely choose the Daisy. It's quieter, it's more accurate, it has a little bit more power. This is actually really surprising. Um, I, honestly, I reckon that this Daisy for $35, I've put thousands of pellets through this thing, thousands. And uh, all I do is put a little bit of oil on it once in a while and um, it, it's just perfect it keeps work, working perfect I, I actually think now that it's broken in it's got more power than uh, it did have when it was new incidentally on the oil um, I could never really come to terms with paying uh, five bucks for that tiny little tiny tiny little tube of Pell gun oil uh, but I did one day just to check it out and I was uh, even more disappointed after I paid five bucks for it because in my humble opinion, after looking at the colour of it and feeling the viscosity of the Pelgun oil and smelling it, I reckon it's transmission fluid. So that's what I do now. I keep, you know, those uh, restaurant style uh, ketchup, mustard, squeeze bottles. Yeah, I just put some uh, transmission, automatic transmission fluid in that. And uh, that's what I use and uh, working very, very well. So anyway, um, up to almost nine minutes now. So what else have I got to say? Uh, either of these, you're going to have a ton of fun. Um, for my money, I would, yeah, definitely pick the Daisy Powerline 880S. Go and look at a couple of my other videos if you want. I've done pellet tests and whatever. But yeah, these are a very surprising little thing. And um, yeah, just for fun and games. In the event of the zombie apocalypse or the shit hit the fan situation, if this is all you had with a, a can of 500 pellets, seriously, not joking, you could actually feed yourself with this thing out in the wild. Rabbits and squirrels, uh, for sure. Yeah, no problems at all. Doves, pigeons, rabbit, squirrel. Uh, you know, so for some crazy, bizarre reason, reason uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of central Pennsylvania, 
Uh, if you had to feed yourself with one of these, yeah, you could do it. So, all right, that's the comparison. That's the Crossman 760 versus Daisy Powerline 880. Uh, thanks for watching.